click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see the sum of the logic gates that are used in the digital circuits. So let's begin with the topic. Digital circuits are nothing but logical circuit which uses sum of the gates for obtaining the logical output. The three basic types of gates are AND, OR and NOT. Now let's see these gates one by one. The first gate is nothing but AND gate. AND is nothing but a logical product. Or we can say it is logical product circuit. So in AND gate, if any one of the input is low, the output goes low. Or if both the inputs are high, then only the output gets high. Now let's first see the symbol and logical expression for AND gate. So in symbol, the AND gate having two inputs A and B and one output that means Y. The gate can have n number of inputs but the output is remain one only. Depending upon the number of inputs, the number of combinations that can be used for a truth table can be calculated by using a formula. raised to n where n is number of input in this case as inputs are 2 therefore number of combination becomes 2 raised to 2 that is 4 now let's see how the AND gate is represented by using an equation so the operator used for an AND gate is nothing but dot operator So if I want to write equation of output, then the output equation or logical equation can be given as y equals to a and b. So here dot operator is used for representing equation of AND gate. Now let's see truth table of AND gate. So AND gate can be represented by using a series connection of two switches a and b. So let's draw the circuit first. We are considering two switch a and switch B having power supply and the output we are going to see on LED therefore a current limiting resistor and LED is connected at the output when logic is 1 the switch is considered as closed switch And logic 0 represents open switch. Similarly, logic 1 represents LED on state. And logic 0 represents off state of LED. So now let's try out every combination one by one. So the first combination is 0, 0. In this case, as logic 0 represents open switch, that means both switch A and switch B are open. So no power is supplied to LED and LED will remain in the off condition, therefore output becomes 0. Now in second condition, the switch A is off and switch B is on. But as switch A is off, no power is supplied to switch B and therefore LED remains in the off state therefore output becomes 0 only. In third condition switch A is 1 that means acts as a closed switch whereas switch B is acts as an open switch therefore the power is still not get supplied to the LED and LED will remain in the off condition only. But if we consider the fourth condition where both the switches having logic 1 that means both the switches acts as a closed switch therefore now the power is supplied to LED through a current limiting resistor R and now LED starts glowing which indicates that the output becomes on or high. So in case of AND gate if both the inputs are high then only the output goes high otherwise if any one of the input is low the output becomes low or zero. Now let's see the another gate which is called as OR gate. As AND gate is nothing but a logical product circuit similarly we can say OR gate is nothing but logical sum circuit. 
In AND gate, we are logically multiplying the two signals, but in case of OR gate, we are logically adding the two signals. Therefore, OR gate is similar to logical sum circuit. Now let's see the symbol by using two input and one output. The two inputs are A and B and output is Y. So this is how the lo logical symbol of OR gate looks like. So the logical operator used for OR gate is plus sign. Therefore, the logical equation or the output equation for OR gate is given by y equals to a or b. So, this represents logical sum to input signal. As we are using two inputs, therefore the total number of input combination becomes 2 raised to 2 that means 4. So, let's write down a truth table. We are having two inputs A and B and output is Y. So the combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. In case of OR gate, if any one of the input is high, then the output goes high. So 0, 0 output is 0, 0, 1 as B is 1, so output is 1, 1, 0 as A is 1, output is 1 and for both input signals are 1, then output goes high that is 1. Now let's understand the circuit by using equivalent circuit using switch. So we are using two switch that means switch A and switch B. In case of AND gate we connect the switches in series combination but in case of OR gate we are going to connect the switch in parallel combination. So switch A parallelly connect to switch B. Here also we are going to consider output is across LED. Logic 1 represents closed switch and logic 0 represents open switch. Logic 1 state of LED indicates on LED and logic 0 state of LED indicates off state of LED. So now let's try each combination one by one. Now here in the first case both the inputs are zero so that means both the switches act as an open switch no supply is given to led output remains low in second condition switch a acts as an open switch but switch b acts as a closed switch so when switch a is open and switch b is closed there is some way is available for power to reach to the led and therefore led gets on and we will get one at the output in third combination we have switch A acts as a closed switch and switch B as an open switch. Therefore from switch A the supply is provided to LED and the LED gets on only. In last combination both the inputs are one that means both the switches act as a closed switch and supply is provided to LED through a current limiting resistance R and LED gets on. Therefore this is how we can represent OR gate which is nothing but a parallel combination of two switches or we can say it is nothing but a logical sum of two input signal. We can apply more than two input signals to the gate but the output is remain one only. Now the next type of gate is nothing but NOT gate. Now NOT is nothing but inverter. That means it provide whatever signal we are applying as an input it invert the signal at the output. So we can say it is similar to inverter. The logical operator used for a NOT gate is nothing but a dash. We can say the logical operator is specifically called as bar operator. AND gate is only one gate which is having one input and one output. NOT gate is a gate which have only one input whereas other gates that means AND or require to have two input or more than two input signals. So here as the number of input is 1 therefore the total number of combination becomes 2 raised to 1 which is equals to 2. There is only one input signal. The symbol of NOT gate can be given as so the NOT gate having one input and one output 
and the logical equation can be represented by y equals to a bar and truth table is given by formula there is only one input and one output and we are having only two combinations 0 and 1 so if the input is 0 the output becomes 1 which is inverted version and if the out so if the input is 0 the output is 1 that is inverted version and if the input is 1 the output becomes 0 so this is what about the AND NOT and OR gate which are the considered as basic gates of digital circuit AND is nothing but logical product OR is nothing but logical sum whereas NOT is nothing but inversion or inverted version of the input signal so I hope you understand the topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.